Sage should be here any second. Went ahead and packed a few things for today. Got a ton of drill bits, a few batteries, my drill, a punch hammer, and then in that case there, I've got a full set of roll pins. So the goal is going to be to cross drill that thing and drive a roll pin through it. So it should fix it enough to get us where we're going. And as I say that, Sage is pulling up. So we'll lock up the house here and then we're gonna take off. Well, we're back out here. I am getting ready to start drilling and putting the pin through that shift linkage. And when I told you guys last night, I zip tied it to get it here. I wasn't kidding. So there's a like a jam nut here. The zip tied behind it, put zip ties around it and went through the clevis. And it looks like uh, we may have lost a few on the way, but there's still two holding it. It made it here. So I just saw this. This has been attempted to be repaired before. Somebody's tried to weld or braze it. But you can see right there, I've started my hole. Uh, I need to pick out what size roll pin I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna have to go through the kit here. Try to find one like this that's a smaller one. I brought my calipers with me, so I'll measure it. Find a drill bit that's a little bit smaller than that, obviously, so that this can kind of expand and lock itself in there. Um, we'll get it drilled out to the right size, we'll get it tapped through, and that should be a lot better repair than trying to hook a cast piece up to this. Just gonna take a minute here to get it drilled out. But so far, it's been drilling pretty decent. Like I said, I, I brought quite a few bits with me because I have a feeling I'm gonna dull a couple out in the process here, but I buy mine in bulk by like a size, so you know, small bits like these, I buy them a hundred at a time. So I'm not too worried if I go through a couple. So the hole's drilled, and I just started getting the roll pin drove through there. I'll get these zip ties cut out of here in just a minute. So we went through a few of these small drill bits, and then I try to use these when I can. Um, they're cheaper. But when I got to the rod in the center of this, they didn't want to drill through them, so I brought these. I've got sets of them. Um, they're not cheap bits by any means. I want to say I get those from Fastenal. But when these things wouldn't touch that center shaft, that center shaft was a lot harder. Those cut straight through them like butter. Um, you know, good drill bits go a long way, but I try not to use them if I don't have to. If I get away with using the cheap ones, I'll use the cheap ones. But now I'm just going to drive that roll pin right up the rest of the way through there. The hole does go all the way through so we can get the roll pin back out later. But seeing that somebody's already tried to put a weld on there, I'm not too worried about that in the long run. But Oh, stick through the other side too. So sweet. The roll pin is actually wider than that. I didn't bother measuring that first. But the roll pins are a spring. This hole is smaller than the diameter of the roll pin. That's why you bring the calipers with. Uh, so the 3.93 millimeter is the bit I used. And I want to say that was a 4.20 or so. So right around there, somewhere in there on that roll pin. And they have a, they're, they're a spring and they have a slot cut through them. So when you put them in, you want them to squeeze in. So they're always pushing out a little bit. So they don't want to come back out of their bore. But that should fix that problem. No, you know, no problem there. We should be able to get it home on that. So we've got a heater under the engine right now going, trying to get some heat in it because it's 32 degrees this morning. And there is no power out where we are. We can't just plug in. So I'm gonna get my tools cleaned up, get all these zip ties cut off. And then we get to uh, try to get this thing to start. Got her fired right up this morning. Unfortunately, we have no power. We put the heater under it, but it was only there for 15 minutes or so. So used a little bit of glow plug in a can and it got right up and going. Not a lot. And it's not actually smoking too bad for a cold start. This is all that was smoking even on startup. So we're gonna let it sit and warm up for a minute and get some temp in it before we try to move it. Going pretty well here. Cruising about 62 miles an hour. Temperatures are looking good, oil pressure looks good. 
Uh, oil's still right on the full mark this morning. Coolant level was good this morning. Um, it is smoking a little bit under a load here. We are going up a little bit of a grade. Um, smoked a little bit in the parking lot this morning. Cleared up once we got some temp in it. But we still have not set injectors or valves on this thing yet. So one of the next things that's going to get done to it is we're going to set the injector, set the valves, run the rack, and uh, see if that clears up some of this smoking issue. Also, probably is going to hurt to get a couple good tanks of diesel ran through and get that old stuff out of there because as you guys saw when I uh, primed the system and pumped it through, it has some pretty nasty looking diesel. But it's running on it. So a couple good tanks get it flushed out. That ought to help a little bit too. Well, there's Indianapolis. So it's about 40 miles from here to Chris's shop. We're doing pretty good though today. Or at least closer than we were. But I think that roll pin is going to be a pretty good repair until we can get a new clevis for it. And obviously when it's been welded, it's been a problem for a while, but welding cast is never a great option. So this will at least be good enough to keep it going until we uh, locate another clevis for it and get on there. Because at this point it works, but it's not adjustable. So as there's wear and stuff, you can't adjust the linkage uh, to compensate for that. So we got it here at Chris's shop. Uh, I just called Chris and woke him up. He's coming back over here. I'm going to run through with him and Sage. Some of the stuff that's going to be the next couple projects on the bus here. I leave town tomorrow morning, so Monday, to head down to Franklin, Tennessee. So Chris is going to take over and do the next few projects on this for us.